Hello at Bags, it's Jay Plays Games back with a Conan Exiles update video. Part of the access show is taking a look at in depth at your favourite games and their latest updates. Conan Exiles hasn't had an update for a number of weeks. The whole team have pretty much been on holiday around them areas, all have generally around three weeks off during the summer. So they're all back in the office now, more or less, and they are hard at work at what's coming. These next updates won't be arriving till next week, but there is some exciting news about when we can expect to see taming coming in. For for Conan Exiles and if you're really interested in the next DLC when we're going to see that available. So kicking off with the Aquilonian DLC is going to be copying the same sort of way that the Imperial East came out. This brand new cosmetic DLC supposedly is coming out early August and as you can see from the patch note stream they've got going on here they're talking about it definitely coming out this week. So it's looking more than likely it's going to be towards the end of the week you'll get your chance to try the brand new Conan Exiles DLC. How do you feel about DLC? Lots of people really did like the way that the Imperial East stuff did liven up Conan Exiles, which is lacking a little bit in real content. Now, whether or not you class cosmetic items as real content, that's obviously up to you. I think I really like the look of this stuff. It definitely adds some flavor and some new building pieces. So if you're a builder in Conan Exiles, you're going to love it. And if you really are looking to get some new weapons and new armor pieces, then certainly some of these sets look really cool. But it's the 16th of August that I'm really going to be looking forward to. That's when they're going to be bringing in the taming system. We're going to be talking about that in a second though, but let's take a look at what's happening next week. So after the DLC comes out this week, next week is going to be the parity patch. Now this parity patch is meant to be the 500 or so bug fixes that went through on PC just before they went on holiday. Initially, before they went on holiday, the Conan devs thought they wouldn't be able to get it out, but they just about managed it. There were some issues, there were a lot of reports over the coming week or two, people saying the game was more broke than before, other people saying it done the job and it fixed a hell of a lot of problems. This is a huge patch, I've gone over all of the more or less the main important stuff before, there were a lot of updates and fixes. When it comes to consoles I will do a quick reminder and I'll pull out the best ones, the ones that are more relevant to you guys. As you can see though, there is a small change with collision. On wall shaped building pieces and triangle foundations or tiers, we've unified them to be the same size and tested to make sure things don't fall down or disappear from them. So I do believe the triangle pieces are just a little bit odd shape, they're a little bit smaller than like a wall size piece. So I can't really see it causing that many problems but who knows how you've built your game or what you've done with your castle or your fort or your base. Their advice is to be 100% sure nothing accidentally disappears or you know falls down or has any issues make sure you've removed any placeables or containers off any triangle pieces and onto square foundations before the patch goes live and then you can move them back after the patch goes forward next week now they're a bit vague on the days but a hit put it here they're hoping to get the patch out at some point next week they are also doing a test live update as well in parallel they're going to be working that there will be lots of issues on PC hopefully being fixed next week. So there's content coming for console and PC next week in the form of fixes. The DLC is coming out this week and this is the big one, this is the one I'm excited about. Around the 16th of August we will update Test Live with the new features for you to test and try out. That will include the new pet taming system, new dungeons and the new additions to the combat system. We will share more info and details leading up to that in our community newsletter and our live streams. We'll definitely positively need your help with testing and feedback on this one. We are also looking into running more test live events. So what they did with the 500 bug fixes, they basically gave everyone free DLC who took part in the test live event to help them test it out and see if they could get it out before they all went on holiday. There's going to be maybe two, maybe even three brand new dungeons added in this update. And of course, we're going to have the new god. Bal Sag is the hyena god, or it's going to be the new, you know, massive avatar. Now, I still think this is actually going to be the avatar, but some people have been saying that it might be, in fact, an actual dungeon boss. But just the pure size and scale of him, I really do think this is going to be the avatar. You've got to remember the scale of stuff. These are trees or branches in the ground and you are, would be a player on the ground. In fact, that looks like some sort of helmet there someone's wearing. I don't know for definite, but it does look like a bit like a ram's helmet. So I really do think this is going to be the avatar. This isn't necessarily a dungeon boss. This is the brand new avatar to go along with obviously Set, to care to and the others. I have shown this off in a video as well, but this is the brand new area that you're going to be going in and exploring as well. 
But when I say new area, it's more like a, just a new dungeon. There isn't going to be like a huge expansion added to the map. It's more of a portal that will lead you to an otherworldly place. Think of like Skyrim or like the Elder Scrolls when you'd go in Oblivion Gate and you would end up on a demonic sort of land. This is what's going to be happening with Conan Exiles. As you can see in the background as well, you can see even more of them deformed trees, thorny trees, and that's exactly what that picture refers to there. When taking a look at that one, you can see it is them trees by the looks of things. So that is definitely a massive, large creature. That's why I'm saying it's the avatar and not some simple dungeon boss. In the game, you can find his son and his son tells you and warns you about his brother. Now, I actually think his brother is going to be one of the dungeon bosses that you're going to need to fight. Just like you have to fight the queen of the jungle, the witch queen, you're going to have to maybe fight one of these guys, Jabal Sag's sons, and before you can unlock maybe the god. So that is coming on the 16th of August, so we've got a good couple of weeks away, but hopefully by the time the DLC comes out, and then hopefully we've got the new bug fixes next week, it should breathe some life into Conan over the summertime. When you go deeper into the forum post, that's one thing Conan Exiles does do very good. It updates you on what's been worked on and what isn't. So this is a status page telling you what's happening with certain bugs. You can see here some of them are fixed on a test live server. And the idea is that the test live server obviously is a test server. That's the name of it. If it goes through the test live server, they people try it out. They don't report any problems. It then goes live to everyone on all official networks and obviously your own game as well, your single player game or any servers that you rent. And you can see there's lots of things that have been fixed. Level 4 NPC weird appearance issues, Relic Hunter falls blocked. What is worrying though, what this first time I've really delved into the issue statuses, I hadn't noticed this before, is how many problems there still is with the game. Particularly with the Purge, now the Purge is still in its sort of first stage, they're meant to be working on it better, but by the looks of things it's been a good few months now and they still have so many problems with it. One of the big ones was not being able to find a Dukurtu Priest. Now, someone told me on PC it got better and that the Priest had respawned a lot more, but I've still not seen any evidence of that in the forums. Lots of people have been complaining they still can't find a Dukurtu Priest. And I'm not talking about the one that teaches you religion. I'm talking about the one, the level 4 one, that will actually bring forth Dukurtu, the actual god. The only way to get them at the moment is through getting a purge in a certain area i.e the jungle area and hoping that a named priest thrall actually spawns and you can see when you look at the xbox and the ps4 there's lots and lots of problems lots and lots of issues so definitely console needs this 500 bug fix coming in very soon and you can see there's hardly any of them have actually been fixed it's all about being delivered next week when this update drops on steam conan exiles has started to experience the drop that i thought kind of would happen after the initial hype of launch and having like a full game and new things to play with, it has steadily gone down. And while it's not terrible numbers, 10,000 to 13,000 is actually pretty good considering the game has actually technically been out of early access for a good three months now. It's still a little bit too low for my liking. It's funny going back over my Conan vs Ark video, how many people said that Conan would be around much longer than Ark, yet already Conan has lost nearly a third of its player base compared to Ark, which is still doing pretty alright with over 40,000 players every single day. And that's not to take anything away from Conan. Conan has got some fantastic strengths. But you guys let me know. What do you feel about the current state of Conan Exiles? Are you happy with the DLC coming out this week? Are you happy with all the bug fixes maybe happening next week? And of course the pet taming system is going to be interesting. And I will be taking a look at it showing and highlighting. I do like the look of this architecture. And I have been building and doing stuff. If you haven't already go and check out my little preview we did i've done a live stream and a proper preview of all the items that were in the last dlc pack and i'll probably do something very similar again be really cool to see some bases actually so if you've got a conan exiles base and you want me to come check it out come and join our discord and post the screenshots i would love to come check out some people's bases if they're your original creations definitely come do a little video and show highlight what you've got going on on your servers or on your single player worlds so there we go, that is the roundup for Conan Exiles. If you're wondering why there's been no updates on my channel for a while, there simply wasn't any news to talk to you guys about. I did let you guys know there wouldn't be much news coming up because there just wasn't any Conan devs around to actually make anything or do anything. But now they're all back in business, hopefully I can keep you guys more up to date with exactly what's happening. 
When the DLC drops, I'll do a video and a live stream this week, and I will let you guys know exactly when it drops for Xbox One and the PS4, the update with all the fixes, as well as PC next week. I am Jay Plays Games. I do update news videos on your favourite games, also show and highlight brand new stuff coming to your games with brand new content. And I'll take a look at new stuff that's been hitting. Go and check out all my brand new access shows I've been doing. And if you're a fan of No Man's Sky or Ark Survival Vile, I've got loads of content on that in the last few days. So go and give it a check. So until next time, I'll see you ratbags in the Exiled Lands.